Hi dear students, uh, this is Aditya Chakraborty, lecturer in electrical engineering of Sri Ramakrishna Institute of Science and Technology. Today, I am going to discuss about the different types of transformer or you can say the classification of transformer. First slide is the type of transformer or the classification of transformer. Here you can see that mainly transformer can be classified into three categories. One is based on core, what type of core is used or how the windings are wound in the core. So based on core, one is core type transformer, another is shell type transformer. And based on transformer ratio or transformation ratio, that is step up transformer and step down transformer. And based on service, one is distribution transformer, one is power transformer. So apart from that, transformer can be classified into other two categories. One is instrument transformer, that is current transformer and potential transformer, which are mainly used for measuring purpose to measure high voltage and high current respectively potential transformer is used for uh, to use to measure the high voltage and current transformer is used to measure the high current and according to the phase supply transformer can be classified into two categories one is single phase transformer another is three phase transformer and also according to cooling transformer can be classified into various categories like natural cooling air cooling oil cooling but mainly transformer can be classified into the three categories which I have already mentioned. And in our syllabus, these three types of transformer is mainly discussed. So at first, the code type transformer. So here you can see the image of a code type transformer. This is the core and this is a winding and you can see how the core is constructed this is the laminated core these two L sections are connected with each other to form the core in this core type transformer the winding surrounded a considerable part of the core generally the core of the core type transformer is a rectangular shape and the coils are both circular or rectangular in form and the winding is located on the opposite limb. So there are two limbs. These are called the limbs. And the windings are located above the link of the core, which is shown in the figure. In most of the larger size transformers are the core type transformer. Round or circular cylindrical coils are used because of provide the mechanical strength. And these two are the limbs this is the limb and this is the limb you can see here the, the outer part there is a high voltage winding is uh, owned or installed and nearer to the core there is the LV winding or low voltage winding and between these two winding there is a high voltage insulation now you can see the top view of the winding of the code type transformer this is the HB winding this is the LV winding and between these two this is the insulation so this type of uh, coils that these are the cylindrical coils are wound in a helical layer with different layers insulated from each other by insulation a high voltage insulation HB and LV windings are placed one after another separating with high insulation cylinder on fuller board which is shown in the figure and this code is made by the silicon steel that is a ferromagnetic material so this is the code type transformer now you can see the next slide is the shell type transformer so in case of code type transformer there is uh, the, there are two numbers of L section are connected to form the code 
and in case of shell type transport you can see one e section and another i section is connected to each other this is the e section of the core or laminated core and this is the i section so there is a central limb in case of shell type transformer but in case of core type transformer there are two limbs in case of shell type transformer there are three limbs and the winding is installed in the central limb the shell type transformer is a simple rectangular form and the core surrounds the considerable portion of the winding which is shown in the figure both the primary and secondary windings are placed in the one limb so in the inner section that is the uh, low voltage winding as like the core type transformer and in the outer section there is the high voltage winding and the coils are wound uh, in form of multi layer disc type this different layer of the multi layer disc are insulated from each other by paper insulation so the insulation which is provided in the shell type transformer is paper insulation this type of transformer is mainly used for low voltage operation in uh, some electronic circuit uh, and uh, the core type transformer is mainly the large transformers so this is the shell type transformer now the step of transformer step of transformer means which increase the voltage or by the help of step of transformer we can step up the voltage so as the name states that the secondary voltage that means this voltage secondary coil voltage or output voltage is stepped up with a ratio compared to the primary voltage you can see here the number of turns in the primary side is uh, less than the prior number of turns of the secondary side so the voltage in the secondary side is stepped up this can be achieved by increasing the number of windings in the secondary than the primary winding in a power plant this transformer is used as a connective transformer of the generator to the grid so this type of transformer are mainly used in a uh, power generating substation or power uh, plant to step up the generated voltage and also it is used for traction line to uh, boost up the voltage so or boost up the traction voltage this type of transformer is called the booster transformer also so when the number of turns is uh, more then you know that the induced emf in the secondary coil is more than the primary induced emf so the voltage in the secondary coil is also increased so that is the step up transformer now step down transformer so what is step down transformer it is just the opposite of step up transformer it is used to step down or reduce the voltage level from lower to higher level at the secondary side as shown in the figure so that it is called a step down transformer the winding turns more on the primary side than the secondary side so if the winding turns more in the primary side so the emf induced in the primary side is more than the secondary side so the voltage induced or the load voltage of the secondary coil is reduced than the primary side and that type of transformer is used mainly for uh, several number of distribution purposes or in case of the secondary transmission primary distribution secondary distribution all those transformer are step down transformer now that is the power transformer so the power transformer is a big transformer it is mainly used in power station to step up the voltage they are suitable for high voltage greater than 33 kb actually this type of transformer is used uh, for 132 kb 220 kv 400 kv and this is the step up transformer and 
the primary voltage of that type of transformer is 11 kb generally and the secondary voltage is 132 220 or 400 kb or greater than 33 kb it is used in power generation station and transmission substations it has a high insulation level because we know the if the voltage is increased then you have to increase the insulation level also otherwise the insulation resistance can be lowered and the insulator can be converted into conductor due to this type of uh, the insulation resistance is depends upon its potential gradient if the voltage is increased then the potential gradient can be break down and at that time the insulator can be converted into a conductor so the insulation resistance must be very uh, big in case of power transformer so high insulation level must be required in case of power transformer now the distribution transformer here you can see the distribution transformer this is known as also the pole mounted substation and this type of transformer are mainly used in secondary distribution purpose this is a three phase four wire transformer also that means in case of primary side the three phase line three phase uh, uh, winding is used or three phase line is entered in the uh, primary side and the secondary side we can see there is a four numbers of wire from the outgoing side and there are three phases and one neutral is used so to convert the three phase from the single phase for domestic purpose we have to use this distribution transformer in order to distribute the power generated from the power generation plant to remote location these transformers are used basically it is used for distribution of electrical energy at low voltage that is less than 33 kb in industrial purpose and in case of uh, domestic purpose that is 400 volt or 440 volt or 2 230 or 220 volt for domestic purpose and the secondary side of this transformer is mainly star connected so there is a neutral we can get a neutral and, uh, and from this neutral we can supply a single phase uh, so single phase supply for domestic purpose so to supply or to convert the three phase line from this two uh, from sing three, three phase line to single phase line we have to use these distribution transformers the primary side is delta connected and the secondary side is star connected and the efficiency of this type of transformer is very low this is the main disadvantage of that type of transformer we know that transformer is uh, uh, has a very big efficiency more than 95 percent or 90 percent but in case of distribution transformer the efficiency is 50 to 70 percent because of the very greater amount of losses and it is also small size so it is easy to install installation cost is also uh, very cheap okay so and the magnetic losses or the magnetic losses means the hysteresis loss and eddy current loss or the core loss is minimum because the supply voltage is minimum actually the core loss is depends upon the rated voltage or supply voltage so the magnetic losses are minimum it is not always fully loaded it is not always fully loaded so this is the distribution transformer that's all thank you